Well guys, welcome back to the PCUs in the new studio and today we are taking a look at how to undervolt locked Intel CPUs. Now, I do have a tutorial for locked Ryzen CPUs as well, uh, but mostly uh, Ryzen CPUs are not really locked, so you can always just use Ryzen Master, but if you have a laptop, I have a laptop undervolt tutorial. This tutorial is going to be valid just for locked desktop Intel CPUs, but we will go in depth as to why that's the case. Now, in this case, we have an Omen pre-built that has been dramatically upgraded. I have a video on the channel about how we upgraded it and we basically put a water cooler in it, many more fans, and now the PC runs much better. However, the BIOS is fully locked and there is no way to do the traditional undervolting slash overclocking that we do here on the channel. So the other tutorials will not work for this PC and they will not work for any pre-built PC. But today, straight in Windows, I will show you how to do it. So this is gonna reduce the temperature, reduce power consumption, slightly increase the performance, and in general, provide with a better experience because not everybody has a water cooler to put on a previous PC, right? So I say we go into Windows and start working. Well, here we are. Now, this tutorial will work for Windows 11 and Windows 10. Your operating system does matter. So you wanna go on Google and write throttle stop. You go in the first link from Tech Power Up, open it up and just download it straight into Windows, okay? Now, you will unpack it, download it and we'll come back in a second. Okay, so once we have it here, we can just open it and all those things are useless. The only thing we want is the actual throttle stop app. Now, once we open this, it will generate a temporary file. So we want to put this in our OS. So personally, I just go into Windows and here I create a new folder and I like to call it, you've guessed it, throttle stop. And then I just put throttle stop into throttle stop and then I double click it and run it. It will warn you, say it's okay and here we are in throttle stop. Now this thing is crazy. It allows us to do a ton of things and I will show you how to do many of these depending on how you want. But I, I will first of all show you what I do. And if you wanna just copy it, you can just copy it. You know, we don't like to waste time on this channel. So let's go ahead. Okay, so now the traditional way of doing undervolting basically would be to go in FYVR, open up this tab, and then basically from here, you would just select uh, what you want and lower the voltage. So for example, you select CPU core voltage and you offset lower the voltage. Now, for those of you who have an 11th or lower gen, system this is what you want to do okay you go in here you go on cpu core you unlock adjustable voltage you put adaptive and you put minus 100 millivolt right here not 125 minus 100 and you repeat on the cache and if you're not using the intel gpu you can also use it uh, there so you do it on all three of these however as you can see today we are showing you the most difficult part most difficult option this is fully locked uh, so we cannot go and work on this so you might be wondering how do we actually do this well i'm glad you asked so what you want to do if everything is locked is basically usually you just go into throttle stop and you want to go into clock modulation put it to 100 percent set multiplier and put it as high as possible but in this case even this is locked so something we can do is disable c1e which is just basically a power saving option but it basically won't let us do anything else so one last resort you can use if your pc is dramatically overheating is to go and disable the turbo okay but this will lower your performance okay so i don't really recommend it there is also the limits option but even this is locked and if we go into fyvr again and if you want to like increase the ratios here now this it will actually let us do so you want to put all of those to the maximum okay this will basically force uh, the maximum ratio on all cores just max this one out and you want to then go on okay save voltages immediately and hit apply and okay so this is actually just a tiny tiny overclock it's not really an undervolt so you might be wondering okay but my pc is running super hot so how do I fix the thermals? Well, it's trickier in case you have everything locked. I'm showing you the absolute worst case scenario and telling you what to do in the normal use cases, okay? So we have checked here again, disable turbo is last resort. But what you wanna do is basically, yes, use OEM app. So in this case, it's called Omen Gaming Hub. You will have a different one depending on 
your system. So you might have like Azus Armory Crate if it's an Azus pre-built, or you have different ones for Alienware and stuff. Okay. What you want to do basically is go and like mess around until you find something that's called basically power settings first and performance. Now you want to put this on performance, but it will have something that allows you to adjust the fan curves. Okay. So what you want to do is basically put them on manual and enable dynamic fan curve. This will dramatically lower the noise and the temperature of your system. But all in all, if even this is locked, the only thing you have left to do if you really want to undervolt um, your system, and if you have a 12th gen CPU, is to disable the efficiency cores. Now, 12th gen does have basically a hybrid architecture. So we have E cores and P cores. This will be shown, for example, in other monitor, as you can see. And via the BIOS, you can disable the efficiency cores. Now this will free up some thermal headroom and allow your P cores to boost higher. Now you might be wondering, how do you disable uh, the E cores? Well, you do it through the BIOS. You just go into the BIOS of your system and you select disable the E cores. That will save you a bit of power without having to disable the turbo altogether. Uh, but if you want more performance, again, throttle stop, increase the core clocks, be sure to tune up the fans in your system and again the only thing left to do is to just slap a water cooler in your system and for that i have a video up here uh, but generally you can just go ahead and use throttle stop with the fyvr option to lower your temperature so let's cut to the conclusions well here we are with the conclusions and as you can see they really were not the best ones there's a reason if i did not do an undervolt your 12th gen locked cpu video sooner it's because they have really locked these cpus down and if you don't have a good motherboard if you have a locked motherboard it is tricky to get more performance and to lower the temperatures however again there are a few tricks if you have your usual locked cpu please use throttle stop and use offset negative voltage. That will fix it, please do it. Then be sure to enable the maximum ratio for your CPU that will give you more performance. That will give you basically like a standard undervolt that we do on the channel. However, if you have everything locked up, best you can do is just disable your E cores, try to push the multiplier to the maximum and tune your fans better. And the worst case scenario, you will need to simply improve the cooling to get the extra performance thanks to thermal headroom. Not the best, but unfortunately this is the only thing you can do. Now, to be completely fair, you could go ahead and do a BIOS mod in which you take the BIOS of your computer, modify it, allow the undervolting because it's just a software lock, really, and you will unlock it. I have done BIOS mod on the channel in the past, but since you need to do a single BIOS mod differently for every locked motherboard, it's not worth the toilet and it's not worth your time really. It's better to just upgrade the cooling like I have shown in the how to upgrade a pre-built PC video that I really recommend you watch if you are in this situation. So I hope it was helpful or at least informative because again, it wasn't an easy topic. And please stay on the channel for more. You can still undervolt your GPU on a locked system and I have plenty of tutorials for that. So be sure to watch these and hopefully drop a like and a sub and see you in the next one guys. Bye.